Okay, so what I think is that, you know, he was, if he was going to pick Rubio, he thought he needed some help with Hispanics. You know, there were certain people that he could, you know, if Yunkin, he wanted to try to put Virginia in play. But the one person I thought that if he picked meant that he knew he was going to win and he wanted the guy behind him to be the best replacement in case something happens. And that's J.D. Vance, because J.D. Vance uh, will help him in the Senate uh, with uh, some elections there. But I think it means that Trump thinks he's going to win without any help, and he wants the guy behind him to be a, a good quality person to run the country if something happens to him. I think he'll be good for the ticket. I think he will, because he was a, originally a Democrat. And he was a veteran, so I think that um, his changing over and him supporting Trump is a good feature. Um, I've done a little bit of research on him, and I think Trump knows what he's doing. He seems like he's a very good person. Mm -hmm. So um, yes. we'll just, you know, I think he's a good choice right now because a lot of us don't know. We're, there's just so many doubts out there, but I think Trump knows what he's doing. Yes, we fully trust Trump. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we're um, alternate delegates from West Virginia. So this is a lifetime experience, so we wanted to be part of history. Mm -hmm. I think he chose him mainly for loyalty because he was so, he was willing to change his rhetoric to something that he may not even, but that he used to not believe. So I believe Trump's looking for someone who is willing to say something they don't believe that is in favor of Trump. So I know that J.D. Vance initially wasn't a big Trump supporter, but like uh, so many people, once they start to get past the media uh, veneer on Donald Trump, they realize there's a lot more there than there. And I think J.D. Vance, uh, just like uh, Rose last night, when she was speaking, that when she did her own work, she found out that you know Trump really cares about people. So I think the I think that J.D. when he got to know Donald Trump past all of the hype, he realized that he was a good man, and I think it's a growing experience. Um, there's a lot of supporters now that we have that were critics, and like I said, mm -hmm. once they realized, they, you know, things started to happen the way that they're, they're happening now, uh, and they realize that what they had believed in before, they don't support anymore. And I think, like I said, most of them have done research and decided that they want to go with the party that follows their principles. Uh, I think it's surprising. Uh, I, I thought he would pick someone more, uh, more moderate. Uh, so it's definitely interesting to see, especially uh, that the I, I've just heard a lot of things that he doesn't really like Trump in the past, so interesting to see. I really don't know too much about J.D. Vance, other than I guess he's young, and he's a Midwesterner, I believe, as he stated, from Ohio. I, the only thing I ever heard about J.D. Vance is that he is critical of the United States support for Ukraine and spending money uh, on that. I think it's unfortunate that J.D. Vance is leveraging his position as an author to take advantage of the American public. I think he's positioned himself as a person of the working class when he's actually not. He's a person who comes from means. And similar to Trump, he is 
making policy choices and advocating for policies that will be deeply harmful to working class people. So it makes a lot of sense to me that he was chosen, but I think it will be a really unfortunate thing for the American public if he is elected and they're both elected. Do you think it's a winning ticket for Trump? It's hard to say. Uh, I think it'll be close. Uh, it really depends on it really depends on how much Biden uh, is actually competitive or if the Democratic Party is going to run somebody else. I think the selection of J.D. Vance is not going to be a relevant factor in him winning or not. I think the recent events with the assassination attempt is going to galvanize his campaign. And I also think that economic inflation is really going to hurt Biden, plus concerns over his age. So I don't really see J.D. Vance or any person he would have picked for VP as a relevant factor that's going to change people's minds. Not particularly. I think at the end of the day, Trump understands his base very well, and his base is white, cisgender, right-leaning men. So although they do try occasionally to gesture at representation, I don't think it's a priority for them. I mean, the last Republican, I think it was um, Sarah Palin, if you remember that, and, and that was John McCain. So yeah, I am a little surprised by that. I don't know how Trump is doing. I don't, I don't expect he's doing well with women, but I think, you know, with the unpopularity of Biden right now, generally, maybe that just didn't weigh as heavily. Uh, for him, I'm not sure why he didn't pick a woman or um, a minority, maybe a Latino or something like that. Oh, I don't think they're any more sincere than they were when they got Pence to be vice president because of his religious proclivity uh, on there. I mean, it's like, it's not sincere. It, it's like pandering to the working guys. Yes, working guys have got gripes. Working guys have got problems and they have had. But I don't see them really do anything. They just want their votes and they're going to move on. Great choice. Why? He's young, he's military, he's a family man, he comes from Ohio, he isn't a privileged man, he was the underdog, and he's for the people. And not only that, he never really liked Trump in the beginning, but he turned around and now does like Trump. And he understands and could step away and see what Trump does. Honestly, I, I honestly I wouldn't know. I, like I said, we can rewind time and go back to per, uh, former past presidents. We would be in better shape than we are now. Yeah. You know, it's not a, and I think it's more of a popularity thing today than it was back then. It was more for our country back then than now, and that's just my honest opinion. Thank you, Benio. Welcome, squat out a bit. Thank you, Benio.